And tonight we're learning about a newly filed bill that creates a new crime in Alabama. If this is passed, swatting is its own crime separate from making a false report. Our WVTM 13's Aaron Lowell is live and local for us tonight. Aaron, uh, we saw the impact of swatting a, a call that came in just yesterday. Yeah, Brittany, yesterday we were at a store in Pell City, just outside of a Walmart, which is hours before. There were hundreds of people who were evacuated from that store over a swatting call, a scary moment for anyone who was inside. But a state representative is planning on introducing a bill that would keep anyone from experiencing that kind of fear again. Calls of two employees shooting at each other inside a Pell City Walmart break room. We heard sirens and the cops were all rushing in with AR-15s and it was just crazy. Everybody was running, panicking. But it was all a lie. Period. If you try to make a swatting call, you're going to get caught. Do not second guess yourself. You're going to get caught. And some elected officials say more needs to be done to stop swatting calls. From whether it's patrolling neighborhoods, whether it's responding to actual crime, it really ends up becoming such a, a burden and it impacts not even the people that are, say, at the Walmart, but the people that, that are in the whole community. That's why State Representative Philip Insler plans to introduce a bill which would make reporting false or misleading information a crime. If they do happen, then there will be more accountability and, and it sends a strong message that it won't be tolerated in our state. But the hope, of course, is, is that people know that the law is on the books and that they think twice about doing it in the first place. Lieutenant Johnny Money with the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office says investigating swatting calls can be expensive and time consuming. We go to the scene, uh, we quickly establish whether or not there is a danger, and then we handle our business from there. And, um, you know, taking the case further and investigating it to try to find out who made the call. The bill would require anyone who was found guilty of swatting to pay for the resources used to protect communities when they're threatened. It's a huge strain and a burden when they have to come out with a bomb dog uh, and come out and, and sweep and secure a whole facility. 